Sorry, baby. Of the towels at the top of the dome so she can be in the dark a little bit. There we go. Good girl. That's a good girl. Got heat underneath of the towel. This will be a very brief procedure. So the entirety of the procedure will take less time than it would to intubate and do everything else. We're just gonna leave her with the cone. So we'll go ahead and leave her head in the cone. Troy, can you go down to 3%, please? We'll just let her rest like this. And roll these up to keep her warm. Use just a bit of alcohol. Spread the feathers so that we can identify the featherless area on her back, which is just here. Then I'm going to use a set of gloves to be able to give a clean prep of that space. by tinting the skin. Small punch into the skin. Use the hemostats to make a small tunnel to make room for the implant. Grasp the implant with the hemostats gently. You don't want it to break. Insert the implant into the tunnel that was created. So there you can see that I did have it fragment just a tiny bit. I'm going to try and put that fragment in. drop a skin glue. Put 
pinch to compress. Incision is closed and we can wake up. For the recovery, I'm gonna keep them upright and warm. Watch for respirations to continue at a steady pace. Go ahead and try to dry a couple of these feathers off. The hormone implant that was placed should help prevent her from having the destructive hormonal behavior that she's been showing. You can 